So we started working our limb destructions this week. Now, we, we had covered a split entry. We covered four different ranges of inner guillotine, just blasting it out of the way, smashing it and, and going all the way through, smashing it and staying on the inside. Uh, and then we covered the outside vertical on, on uh, last uh, video. Now, I wanna add a few more to these, uh, but I also want to uh, take this minute to stress the fact that you should definitely get practice on these uh, in and out of rhythm. I mentioned it at the very end of last week's video, but work this shot, work this shot, work this one here, work that one there, work this one here, and then work this guy without rhythm, and then set the rhythm with the glove drill, and then check your rhythm with the metronome, right? I mentioned the metronome earlier as far as a really great way of teaching you rhythm when you don't have somebody feeding shots right back at you. It's a really great way of checking your rhythm as you're doing something along these lines. Now, um, we're going to add a few more. Um, it's it's going to be four more today as far as instructions of this cross. Uh, we'll do five. Why not? I like five. Uh, so what's going to happen here first is I'm going to uh, catch the jab, throw the jab back, jab and cross. Okay, this is where we've been. Now, the first one what I want you to do, uh, or first one I want you to do, first one I want you to do in this video set is going to be what we call the backhand goon team. Okay, uh, so off of our backhand goon team, what's going to happen is I'm going to be on the out or the inside of their cross. So this is here, 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 and that cross comes in, but I'm not quite all the way over here. I'm not dead center. I happen to be here for some reason. Okay, that will happen. Okay, somebody might have just cut an angle on me, or I might have gauged it wrong and faded this way, and all of a sudden this cross is here. So when this cross comes in, now what I want you to do is I want you to do a cross parry. Okay, so that cross is coming right at my head. I parry on the inside. I take this and I just lance it right across their bicep. Okay, I'm trying to catch it right at the, the attachment point of their bicep. If, um, if I can, I can also blast them in the head, right? Um, one thing I want to make sure I point out is if, if this person is throwing a jab, a cross, and then a hook, you have to be mindful of the fact that if you're on the inside of this cross when this hook comes in, you had better have a plan. And that's why I really like this shot because if I'm here and I do my inward and my backhand to parry this shot here and that hook is coming in, I step behind with another backhand and I check that hook or I blast him in the face. Now, if you'll remember, I pushed pretty heavily for my Panatuka Muay Thai class to work the stick work. If you haven't noticed, uh, this is an inward, this is a backhand, that is a backhand. That is a heaven six pattern. One, two, three, four, five, six. Inward, backhand, backhand, inward, backhand, backhand, right? Uh, if you haven't noticed my um, inward gutin all the way through, that is an inward, that is an inward, and that is a backhand, right? It's not exactly the same pattern, but you're still seeing how these motions translate, okay? So I want you to, to really take a, a good look at this, right? Here is uh, on the outside vertical, one, two, and three, or inward, back in, back in, okay? They, they translate pretty heavily. So if this is your first time watching uh, one of my Panatuka Muay Thai videos, uh, and you've never done any stick work, go back and watch my stick work videos, and the, the stick will teach the empty hand, okay? So uh, where, what we're at here is I hit my inward and my back in, all right? So, Jab, catch, jab, in or back in. Okay? That cross is coming at me. I take this shot and I just blast it. I hit this as hard as I can around the inside of this muscle here. Or again, if you have super long reach and you can, you, you hit the shot right up into their head. At any one of these points here, bang, just follow up with whatever you want to follow up with. Right? So one, two, one, bang, here's a four count. Boom, boom, and boom. Right? That goes for the previous week's video as well. Um, if I'm just doing a split entry, for instance. From the split entry, I might add the good team here. I can follow up with a four count. That's just a, a closed short four count. Either way is fine, okay? But make sure you follow up. Uh, now, the next one we're gonna cover is probably one of my favorites just because it's so fast and it happens so easily, right? So this is gonna go, I, I catch their jab, I jab, they jab, I parry their jab into a vertical elbow, okay? So their hand is coming flying at me, their cross is coming flying at me, and I just kind of help guide it, and I let it punch right here at that bony part, uh, right above my elbow or right into my elbow itself, okay? So I'll turn this way here. So it's one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. 
Next one we're gonna cover is one, two, three, and you're gonna parry this into a horizontal elbow and you're gonna just chop straight into that shot. So it's a snap elbow for those of you guys who have done a lot of elbows with me, okay? So parry, bang, one, and two. Parry, jab, catch, elbow, okay? So, so far we've done our vertical up elbow and our uh, horizontal snap elbow into their cross. And you just use this hand to kind of help guide it where you want it to meet, okay? Again, it's one of my favorite shots. You can pull it off all the time, all right? Uh, now, the, the last one of these elbows is when this comes in, I'm going to pair on the inside and I'm gonna smash on the outside here. Again, this one works well if I'm already off this angle here on the inside of their, of their shot. If I'm already on the outside of their cross, it would be silly for me to step across their cross, if that makes sense, step through their cross and then blast that shot. If I'm already on the outside of this, I'll take one of these or I'll take one of these or I'll take one of these, whatever the other options are you wanna do. But if you get caught on the inside here, and you don't want to hit your backhand goon team, then just take this shot here. You're going to cross parry and, and blast that, that uh, lead snap elbow into it. So for the first snap elbow I showed you, uh, or the number two, uh, you're going to drive this right or your rear side into it. Uh, this one here, what I want you to do is I want you to fade out and drive your lead into it. You're just going to try and sandwich their hand, their wrist area with your hand and your elbow. So. Again on this one, one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four, right? So that is that is our three basic elbow smash destructions. Uh, that is also our backhand goon team destruction. Any one of these, one, two, three, and four, you should follow up from. Bang, boom, right? Whatever your follow up chooses to be. Um, I want to make sure that you try and not only get the reps of the destruction, but you also get the reps of uh, the follow up as quick as you can. So what I mean by that is I don't want it to be one, two, three, and I'll do this guy here. And I'll do this, and this, and this. I don't want that kind of delay. What I'm looking for is one, two, three, bang, right away, pop, 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 hey. Right, whatever your follow-up might be. So uh, that is four, right? Our fifth one we're gonna cover uh, is going to look a lot like some of the other ones, uh, but it's, it's a little bit longer range motion. Um, you'll, you'll hear this called a horizontal goon team, you'll hear it called a, a backhand goon team on the outside. We tend to call it here the uh, doble pawas, um, which just uh, taught to me it means double parry. So what's going to happen is uh, I go one, two, three, and I parry once, and I parry twice. But that second parry, I'm just kind of flicking that arm out there. If I, if I redirect it, great. If I hit him in the eyes, great. Okay, even better. Um, it's a lot different than the outside vertical in the sense that I'm not stepping in with a vertical up elbow. I'm not driving my way into it, but I'm more stepping on the way out, okay? So for those of you who practice a lot of our six directional footwork, we have our open triangle, which is our female. We have our lateral triangle to the sides, and we have our male triangle back. Our outside vertical is more on the female triangle, whereas a doble pawas is more on the lateral triangle, okay? From that position here, I can still step in. I can still take control of the of the uh, range. But that that is uh, the five that I want you to work. So I'm gonna show them stationary, and I'll show them one more time in glove drill format, and then I'll leave it to you to fo follow up on your own. So stationary. First one is back in good team, back in good team, back in good team, back in good team. Make sure that you get your head off the line. Okay. Next one is vertical up elbow. Vertical up elbow vertical up elbow, and vertical up elbow. I'm trying to rotate so you can see different ranges or different angles. Uh, horizontal or snap with the rear, snap with the rear, snap with the rear, and snap with the rear. Fade and snap with the lead. And then last was the doble pawa. Here, 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 and here. Now, to do it from glove drills one more time. One, two, three, and vertical. One, two, yeah, screw that up. One, two, three, and here, horizontal. One, two, three, and fade and horizontal on this side. One, two, three, and hit this shot here. One, two, three, I'll hit that one again because I screwed that up too. One, two, three, and go with follow up. Change the angle, I won't screw it up this time, and I won't go out of order this time. One, two, three, don't play follow up. God, I screwed it up again. All right, I'm not editing this. Um, one, I don't like editing, but two, you need to see that it is kind of uh, mentally taxing, just like I've been mentioning quite a bit in our cognition 
of uh, cognitive load in our collie stuff. So one, two, three, and that is our back end goon team. One, two, three, vertical up elbow. One, two, three, horizontal rear elbow. One, two, three, uh, horizontal lead elbow. And one, two, three, and go with power uh, on to the outside. So uh, I apologize for the little clunkiness there, but uh, again, I do think it's important to show that uh, it, it's not going to be perfect. I want to make sure that you understand that I still screw up. Um, I'm definitely aware that there's people out there much better than me, but I'm just trying to make sure that I get as much information across to you in this crazy time as I possibly can. So um, spend some time, work these stationary, work these in a glove drill format, work these with a metronome to, to keep your rhythm and to check your rhythm. Uh, during this pattern, I don't recommend it uh, gradually increasing. Find a pace you can work at and work that pace as long as you possibly have uh, <laughs> available. If you have an hour, good. Set a time where you can get that rhythm for an hour, right? And then uh, lastly, uh, try and burn it out with some, with some follow-ups, okay? So thank you very much. Have a good one.